Okay, our next abstract will be by Julie Matthews, covering uh, the effectiveness of different therapeutic diets for autism spectrum disorders. Hi everyone, I'm Julie Matthews, and I am looking forward to sharing with you the results of our study, ratings of the effectiveness of 13 therapeutic diets for autism spectrum disorder. This study was conducted by Dr. James Adams and I. Dr. Adams is a professor at Arizona State University, and he leads the Autism Asperger Research Program. And I, at the time, was a graduate student in medical nutrition in their master's program at Arizona State University. And so I also have been a nutrition consultant for over 20 years, helping children and families with autism spectrum disorder. So I'm really excited to share the results of our study today. We conducted a survey study and created a survey for caregivers and individuals with autism spectrum disorder, looking at their use of therapeutic diets. We had 818 participants and any diets that had 20 or more responses were included in the study. We looked at overall benefit of each diet as well as 24 symptom improvements and adverse effects. Different diets were used by different numbers of people. The two most popular or commonly used diets were the gluten-free and casein-free diet or the GFCF diet and a healthy diet. And you can see the rest of the results here. Overall benefit was rated on a scale of zero to four, zero being no benefit and four being great benefit. And there was an average overall benefit of all of the therapeutic diets of 2.36. This was significantly higher than the overall benefit of nutraceuticals and psychiatric and seizure medications. And this study, this survey was used and we looked at different these different interventions. And so the same rating scale was used. So we were able to compare those published studies and that research to the study on therapeutic diets. Additionally, the there was a significantly lower adverse effects score from therapeutic diets than with psychiatric and seizure medications. So you can see here the blue are the overall benefits and the orange are the adverse effects. We look at started with a healthy diet, then a fine gold diet. A fine gold diet is a diet that is free of artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, and other food additives, as well as a diet that is low in a natural food compound called salicylates. The fine goal, the, sorry, the, the next diet was the food avoidance diet based on IgG and IgE testing a low sugar diet, food avoidance diet based on observation, a GFCF diet, specific carbohydrate diet, ketogenic diet, corn-free diet, casein-free diet, paleo diet, soy-free diet, and gluten-free diet. And when we looked at the top improvements across all the diets, we found that the attention was the top symptom improvement. Next was cognition, irritability, health, hyperactivity, aggression and agitation, anxiety, constipation, diarrhea, language and communication, as and more. And so you can see we looked at a variety of core autism symptoms as well as related physical, cognitive and behavioral symptoms. There were a number of results, so I encourage you to read the paper, but I wanted to highlight a few today. A healthy diet in addition to being rated overall the top diet for overall benefit, um, was also rated the top diet for improving health. The Feingold diet was a top rated diet um, overall benefit and for six symptoms. A ketogenic diet was the highest for nine symptoms and a GFCF diet was a top rated diet for symptom improvements as well. So I wanna go through a few of the results here in more detail. For those who had hyperactivity, that use the fine gold diet, 45% of the individuals improved hyperactivity with this diet. Also, irritability improved, attention, aggression, anxiety, cognition, sensory sensitivity, and more improved with this diet. In terms of a ketogenic diet, 43% of individuals improved attention, also cognition, anxiety, irritability, language and communication, social interaction, constipation, and more. 
And the gluten-free and casein-free diet, 31% improved attention, also cognition, language and communication, diarrhea, hyperactivity, social interaction, and more. Some more highlights. I mentioned the highlights on the healthy diet. A corn-free diet the top was the top-rated diet or one of the top diets for diarrhea and constipation. A low-sugar diet was one of the top diets for hyperactivity, aggression, and irritability. The paleo diet was one of the top diets for ticks, self-injury, and OCD. And the specific carbohydrate diet, or SED, was one of the top diets for anxiety, social interaction, and stimming. So conclusions from the study, different diets improved different symptoms. So this suggests that symptoms may help guide dietary choices to determine the most effective therapeutic diets for different individuals. Therapeutic diets also should include foods, healthy foods to include and problematic foods to exclude. Generally, therapeutic diets are safe and effective for individuals with ASD. They are relatively inexpensive, and it's important to seek out support from a qualified professional. I want to thank you again for the opportunity to present these results today. Again, I'm Julie Matthews. I am uh, very happy to support you any way I can, answer any questions I can. You can find me at julie at nourishinghope.com. That's how you can email me. And you can find me on my websites, nourishinghope.com and bioindividualnutrition.com. So thank you again for this opportunity today. I am very passionate about helping families, and I'm very happy for the opportunity to share these results with you. Thank you, everyone.